Buzz. Hi, Buzz. Hi. Hi, Buzz. Buzz, 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 Buzz. Ready? Ready? <laughs> oh my gosh. Ready? Come on. Oh. Bugs. Why? I hold hold the it. camera higher so you no. don't give yourself a double chin. I don't have a double chin. Welcome to the video. Now why are you driving? You should you should be holding the camera and I should be driving. That's you need practice. I don't need practice. This is what you do. So we are going to a place called Kingsland. Kingsland, Texas. It's uh, right by Marble Falls and a couple places like that. Kind of a retirement community, I mm -hmm. would say. But Big it's over time. by uh, LBJ Lake um, here in Texas. We found a new RV spot, like connected with um, some golf course and it's literally cabins. Literally brand new. It's literally brand Not new. Enough. Like they're having trouble even like getting things to work there. So this is gonna be fun and interesting. What? You know those two spots we can't park in because they don't have electricity. They're like, oh, we don't have the 50 amp, and I was like, oh, we have 30 amp. And, mm. But she's like, oh no, the breaker's out. Like the whole breaker, so. But I called this lady, like, okay, so I made the reservation. It was already kind of weird, like, her name is Travis. So that, that threw My me. name is Ryan. I know, but I'm just saying it threw me off because I'm giving all this information. It was like a week ago. And so I had her, uh, you know, take down all my information and everything. So I called this week. I, I won't even talk about last week too much, but I called this week and I said, hey, I just want to check my, you know, our reservation you know, for, for me and my wife. And uh, she said, oh, you mean for the weekend of April 4th or something like that? Or she was trying to figure this this out. And I, I was like, I don't know, April 4th, March 4th? I, I don't know. But either way, no, it's this weekend. So I had to confirm that. She said, oh, you mean in the cabins, the part of the Feeds family, which is part of our family. I don't know how she knew that. But then she she's like, I finally had her figure it out. I was like, well, I guess we could boondock, worst case scenario. It's just we're not going to pay you for it. And she's like, oh, RV. So you're part of the <laughs> RV site. We have a spot, I think, reserved. She's like, if you see a reserve sign, just move it. What? And so, yeah. <laughs> but she said that's how she works. Like, if it's first come, first serve. Oh, so you go and pick out a spot, and then you go and tell her where you are, and you, uh, you pay. Cheap. It's like $30 a night, and it's full hookups, I think, even sewage, which is nice. What? I think. We are leaving tomorrow. What time are we leaving? That I don't know. We're going to leave in the morning. And, but tonight we need to get stuff ready. So uh, basically take down anything that can possibly fall, like all of our decorations, make sure everything's oh, put that's away, stuff we can do tomorrow clean morning. stuff off, dump the gray in the black. Uh, I need to wash some clothes. We're gonna go to the store and grab a few things. Are okay, you ready to go? First trip Academy. since October. I'm taking the shot. Little solar lights are lit up. <laughs> All packed up on this side. <laughs> so, another thing that's super important is taking away anything that can and will fly across the room. All of these things hanging, this we'll have to probably put in the sink, this as well, or we we'll usually put that on the ground. All of this stuff needs to be put away. Just with wiping it down, I didn't use any soap or anything. <laughs> Buzz, are you gonna go outside today? Hey, you're just gonna stay in here all day. Here comes Buzz. <laughs> all right, so as you guys can see, nothing on the actual counters. <laughs> and we just kind of put stuff wherever. Um, you kind of have to barricade things in so they don't go flying around. Um, I will be moving that, but I'm gonna take my computer in the car with me. We've got everything basically here so we've got stuff in the sink then we keep a few things like dog food trash can in the shower here all right breakfast time for the pups Tico, get it get it 
Let's, let's, what? <laughs> Hi. What are you doing? Aren't you cute? There more of you? Oh, hello. <laughs> You're so cute. Still a baby. Alright. We are officially compact. Oh, look at this guy. You can't come with us. Hey, look. Let's go over here. There you go. Look at this guy! A little bit further. A little bit. Uh, stop. That should work. Oh, you have to go all the way in here. All right, final checks. Make sure everything is locked and loaded. Locked. Propane is going. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, the brake lights are on. Locked. And I just locked that. So we need to grab the blocks. Ooh. I hate these things. Are you getting used to the brakes again? We forgot a few things. <laughs> All right, boys, y'all ready? Y'all ready? We get to go on a trip. Buzz, Brady, come on, Brady. Brady, go. Yay, boys, yay, boys. So he's just testing the brakes out now. That's better. Boys? <laughs> All right, Brady's about to get car sick, so I'm gonna take him for a walk. Okay. On this Perfect nice little time. gas station. Hold on, Brady. I have no preferences. <laughs> Ignore the reserve signs. Yeah. I like this one. Okay. Alright, so while Matt is out there taking care of the water, I went ahead and kind of cleaned up so all this stuff is out of the way. Pups can lay in their bed. They've got some water while we get everything set up. The power is hooked up, so we've got the AC going. And everything is looking like home. But he did throw up in the car. But that's okay. So now he's going to get extra foods. Sweet boy. We're here. We're here. Right. Right, boys. Right, boys. All right, you guys. So, it's time for the giveaway. We had 203 entries. That's a lot. Um, 
we wanted to actually physically draw a name out, but to sit down and write out 203 names. Or even put it into like an Excel file. <laughs> like even with copy and paste, that would take. That would. We so. have this random number generator. I entered one. 203 and we're gonna hit generate and then what I have to do is I have to go through and count the comments and that number down I almost like 150 so you have to like count forever just to get to it. It's probably gonna be pretty high up there. I'll do it. Drum roll. 96! <laughs> That's close enough. Okay, so give me like 20 minutes. How about I stop this one? We'll start counting. 94! 95! 96. So Colette Funshine or Colette Smith you are the winner! Yay! <laughs> Thank you to everybody that entered um, and the, you, know, you guys are following along. We love y'all. So there's more to it? That's it. <laughs> right. Just an FYI guys, we did have to replace these. <laughs> what? No, we no, we didn't. Where'd I leave that thing? I feel like it's over there. I feel like it's over there. Over there? That's Oak Grove. So we're back that way. Somewhere. So we're in... We're out yonder somewhere. We're and we just pulled up to this, it's a lighthouse bar and grill, and apparently this is the office to check in. Like we said, it's been really kind of odd dealing with Travis, the woman named Travis. She's very friendly, but it's just, they seem so laid back. Honestly, I feel like we could have, like, she wouldn't have even known that we'd be there. We're not trying to give you all ideas. No, no, no. <laughs> I just, she's just like, well, I mean, I could just run the card. You don't even have to come in. But we're like, no, we'll just, we'll come in. I'm going to hang out with the dogs. So you're going to go inside. Go. You can report back. Zero. We'll be here. We'll be here waiting for you. Oh, that's weird. Oh, you gotta twerk it. <laughs> do it again, do it again. Oh, but I didn't forget about Go. you. Go. Hey. Get him, right now. Get him. Hey, somebody's gonna go outside. Alright. They're circling like yeah, little sharks. Yeah. What are y'all doing a choo-choo train or something? What? <laughs> so we made it here. <laughs> we are here. <laughs> Overview of the day. The driving was stressful. You were stressed. Getting here was a little stressful because we passed the turn. And then he had to turn around in somebody's driveway. But it was angled, and so I bottomed out the back while jackknifing. It was pretty... It was legitimate. Not good. <laughs> and yeah, I, just, I had to say the whole word instead of saying legit, because that's, that's how it goes. I just stared forward and didn't say anything, because it was like, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. So I just tried to be invisible for a bit. But we I made it, it here. Yeah. And so we parked... Backed in. The, the pads are cement, which is nice because it, everything is like already pretty dang level. We've got electric, of course, pretty we've got level. water, and then we have a black is it called sewage. We've got sewage, so we're connected, so that's really nice. 30 bucks a night, which is not bad, but there's not a lot out here. So you have to drive through kind of like a neighborhood, the golf course, the scenery's not bad. If you there's like not, golf, it's perfect for you. Yeah, there's not any. The, I'm kind of sketched out because there's not any lights. Like, even in this housing subdivision, there's no street lights. So everything's really dark. So it's kind of weird, but... And got set up and everything, and we don't... We didn't see an office. We didn't know where to check in or, you know, sign in. We're going to be staying Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. We're going to be heading back home Monday. And we spent a little bit of the evening with some of my family. My aunt and uncle live in this area, and then my other aunt is here in town. We actually have a surprise party for my cousin tomorrow. Which is why we're here. It's actually here. Like, well, not, you know, here. I don't think we fit that many people in here. No, but it's actually here at the uh, country club. So it's, uh, we can see from where we are. We, we can actually look that way and see the country club. Probably half a mile to, I'd probably about that, half a mile. Yeah, through the golf course. So we thought about walking, but then I was like, it's going to be late. He's yeah. going to have some drinks. We don't know that for we sure. We don't right. want yeah, to will. walk. But then again, I mean, I guess I'll drive home. It's all of a 30 second drive. But we're just in the area. So we're just hanging out. We took the dogs over to my aunt and uncle's. They got to meet everybody 
and just hung up for a bit. And ate some Mexican food, drove through some more sketchy areas, had some rice and beans and tortillas. <laughs> well, we talked about things that we wanted to do in this area. And for those of you that like horror movies, yes. the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the, the first house. Uh, yes. Like, yeah, so the one from the 70s, you know, that one. Uh, that's actually, it was here in Texas, but it was filmed in Austin, right, right outside of Austin. And what they did is they actually transplanted that house in Kingsland, of all places. Kingsland's this little small semi-retirement community type mm -hmm. thing. And um, it's now a little cafe and restaurant. It's a little brunch place. Yeah, and it's, it's really cute. Place. So we're going to go there Sunday or Monday morning. Yeah. And get some coffee and, you know, I'm going to get some oatmeal. And yeah. <laughs> and they still have the door. Like, if, you, if you've if you seen the movie. Yeah. He, like, slides open the door and has a chainsaw or whatever. It's, it's kind of eerie walking in. They still have that, but that's the kitchen. Because, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you walk in, you're like, oh my gosh, knowing the movie, you, you know what happened there. Um, but no, it's like bright, sunshiny little place, and there's yep. a an inn next to it that's really cool. I mean, there's some pretty cool places here in Kingsland. Um, but it's, it's just a very sleepy, small town, very small town feel. Yep. Like all the stores close at 8. Yeah, everything um, closes at 8. So we're kind of tucking in for the night. I'm going to close up this video here. <sighs> It's like even just the mentioning of, of night. It's like, oh. <laughs> Sleepy. It's been a long day. But, I mean, yeah, today was... The travel days are usually more stressful. We haven't even taken long trips yet, so that's going to be interesting. I can't wait for that, though. It's like, yeah, the first couple nights are going to be stressful, but after that... Yeah, so that's what, what we're up to this weekend, and we're glad to bring you guys along. So hopefully you enjoy us actually going somewhere. Surprise, we're in our home. Um, that's... Yeah. I love... You don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know. You can't we even tell. Be... <laughs> We're actually filming from in the backyard. Yeah. You don't know where Why we are. Why have we not been doing this all along? We just drive in the car and pretend like we're pulling the trailer. Yeah. And then film inside the trailer. Oh, that drive was stressful today. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. Okay. I feel like we have to show proof now. Like, stick the camera out the window. <laughs> proof to you guys that we're in a... Oh, you guys just parked at another RV or... <laughs> That's all y'all did. Somebody else's home is next to us. Okay. We'll see you guys in the next video. Have fun out there. Brady, what do you say? Buzz, speak. Bye, guys. One little bit that I do want to add on. I don't know if we've seen living people here since we we've been... We saw one person. Okay, we saw one person, but they're now gone. And it's completely quiet in this park. There's not many cars next to the RVs. Um, so, if you guys don't hear from us... Please come and find us. <laughs>